Thank First thing is, uh, this could have developed into a wake, but look how many people are here. Yeah. Look how much um, enthusiasm the there is. Actually, it's for the Greek party and it's policy. It's really, really good. But what I want to do, first of all, all of you worked incredibly hard during the campaign. Uh, on behalf of all of the candidates, I want to thank you. And we all want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for working so hard for the right principles. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. It's policies and principles, not so much individuals. And those carry on, and the fight carries on. Uh, we will certainly do that. Why did we lose our couple of seats? Well, uh, I think the, the answer to that is because the general election was declared uh, halfway through our campaign. We saw a change in terms of the responses on the doorstep. People were thinking uh, they would want to try and get rid of Theresa May. But they hadn't abandoned the ideas that we were putting forward, like uh, opposition to One Oxfordshire and opposition to the cuts and austerity politics. Those themes and protection of the NHS, a major theme for us, will continue on. And my only hope now is that we put everything we can, the same effort again, we dust ourselves off, we get back into the fight, and we actually support, we support our East Oxford parliamentary candidate and we get the green message across again at that stage. It's going to be critical that we do that, because real power in this country lies in Westminster and at number 10. And we must address that if we're really ever going to get uh, justice and environmental change in, in this country. <coughs> Fight if we're all together. The Green Party may be um, disappointed, but we're not disillusioned because we're based on policies and principles. We will win. We will go forward. We're not running away. Nobody's going to say that's the end of uh, my involvement. I'm not. I'm still here. And the other candidates are still here, still fighting, <laughs> still carrying on. And given the opportunities of politics, everything changes all the time. And the opportunities for us to make those statements and make those policies and make a speech will, will emerge again. So we will do that and we'll carry on. The important thing yeah, I think it's in the general election. Larry's here. Where is Larry? Here he is. <laughs> this is the man who will carry the torch in the next few weeks. Oh. Oh. One of my greatest heroes. Um, Larry uh, is our national spokesperson on the health service. One in nine people in this constituency work in the health service. It's going to be in a very, very important aspect of this election. And I'm proud, deeply, deeply proud that Larry is going to be our candidate. And I'm, I hope over to you, Larry, because you've got to carry the flag from this oh, point no. <laughs>